What is up everybody? Showing up the King here and I'm here to bring you my review for Bleach Manga Chapter 522. Uh, this was another uh, training episode. I said I shouldn't say episode. A training chapter and um, as far as the uh, summary will go it'll be pretty brief because again not a lot happened. Um, we did get introduced to Mimaya. I'm probably butchering his name. Mimiaya, the uh, creator of the Zanpakuto. Uh, before I get started with this this chapter review, I got I got something on my chest, guys. I got something on my chest, and I want to kind of put this out here. Um, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm African American. I know it's it's kind of hard to tell, you know, with my camera and everything. And uh, I'm starting to have an issue with how people over in Japan view us as characters in their manga. Now I know I'm not going to make this into a big deal. And as you can see I got a smile on my face so I'm partially joking. But first the whole Killer B thing you know the first time they introduce a black character in Naruto he has to be he doesn't talk he just raps. He got on the sunshades and you know it's it's, it's just and they got the tattoos and everything I'm just like really? But you know what? Killer B and ended up being probably next to Rock Lee, my one of my favorite characters in the show. So I'm not too too upset about it. And again, again, and then, and then this one, I'm not really upset about it. I'm not one of those kind of people who get really uptight over racism and stuff like that. I am though that kind of person though that when I see it, I'm gonna point that shit out and I'm gonna put them on put them on blast. I'm, that's just how I handle things. So we get introduced to Nehemiah. And I knew from the first moment we saw him, we saw him, that his character was going to be a joke. And exactly, this is what it is. You know, he's got the sunshade on. He's got the funky afro thing going on. He he's got a puffy North Face. He's wearing a puffy North Face for God's sake. Come on, how much more stereotypical can you be? And if I'm not mistaken, I could have sworn. I saw like some sort of headphones or earpiece in his ear when he was, you know, talking to all his Zanpak toe bitches. You know what I mean? At least that's one good thing out of it. You know, the black guy's the one that gotta have all the bad bitches around him. So I guess I can give him a slide on that. But and then he's like break dancing, like halfway through the middle. I guess that's how you apologize. You gotta sit there and do like a break dancing pose. I'm like, come on, son. What is what is what's up with that? Anyway, this the chapter the chapter starts off with Ichigo and Renji arriving at the uh, third palace which is uh, run by Nehemiah he comes out well actually the bevy of bitches come out and greet them and you know Cone he's he's all super excited you know he's like paradise and you know he goes runs out to the women and they're all like oh you guys are so strong and da 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 and you know uh, Neji I said I'm about to say Neji I said nah, I did say Neji uh, Renji and Ichigo They've never really been known for the ones that go crazy over women. So them seeing the women isn't that big of a deal to them. And on top of that, they're already on high alert because they're just like, yeah, this seems like a trick. They can, they're probably men or something like that. So it's not like they even pay that much attention to them. And, you know, we get introduced to Nehemiah. He does his whole, you know, man-tan dance or whatever you want to call it. And um, he basically sends them to another room and tells them, hey, this is where I really live. And uh, he drops them into this hole. And once they fall into this hole, he pulls out both of their Zanpakuto and says, you didn't even realize that there are no Shinigami here. All the women you saw are Zanpakuto. And he then says, you know, he proceeds to smash their Zanpakuto together. Now, before I continue, I want to make one notation. Renji Zanpakuto is broken. Again, I said a couple videos back that Renji, the reason why Renji was moving along with Ichigo is not only to give him a power up, but to also repair his Zanpakuto. And I know a lot of people kept saying, you know, he just got knocked out. His Zanpakuto was never destroyed. Clearly, his Zanpakuto was destroyed because it was cut in half. And again, I said his Zanpakuto must have been damaged. It was damaged the first time when he first fought Byakuya. And it was damaged again when he fought the little, uh, you know, luchador wrestler dude from uh, the Quincy's. So his sword is definitely destroyed. 
and even more so, you know, when Nehemiah smashed them together, further shows that, look, your swords are fucked. Now, he left him in this pit with despair, another Zanpakuto. And again, that's my that's my thought, is that it's going to be other Zanpakuto in there. Now, if these are Zanpakuto that's been, you know, that have not been close to their master, or these are Zanpakuto that have died, we don't know that yet. Uh, it looks like they're going to have to fight off a lot of Zanpakuto, and if they survive, then uh, Nehemiah will reforge their Zanpakuto. And that's kind of how the chapter ends. Now, here are my thoughts on the chapter. Number one, I'm going to focus this on the Zanpakuto. This is a huge moment for the series because, again, I talked about this in a, maybe like two or three chapters ago. I really want to see Renji get a huge development boost in this in this in this storyline. Again, Renji was one of our fan favorite characters from the first part, but shortly after he um, achieved Bankai. His character kind of like started having like some sort of a slope. I really hope they take this time to fully reforge his Zanpakuto. Maybe even give him a different Bankai. I would really like to see him have more of a physical Bankai than the whole snake baboon thing. I just feel like in, 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 in uh, combat situations, it's not always practical to have that monkey snake thing around you. I'd rather have him have the kind of Zanpak toe that Ichigo has, where it's used for like more of a speed and combat kind of thing. That's kind of where I would like to see Renji's Zanpak toe situation go. Again, like I said, there's no guarantee, so I don't really know. But I'd love to see, like, or at the very least, give him something different. You know, this is a prime opportunity to power up Renji, make him another relevant character again, and give him a nice power up. So I hope they definitely do that. As far as Ichigo is concerned, his whole Zanpakuto situation is going to be is going to be special because remember it's not just about reforging the Zanpakuto you have to if I remember correctly they have to pour their Retsu into the Zanpakuto so I'm thinking that when they get out of that pit and they finish fighting all the mother Zanpakuto they're going to have to pour their Retsu into the newly finished and crafted Zanpaktos and then that's kind of when Ichigo is going to probably start noticing his Quincy abilities and maybe some of his Quincy Retsu will go inside of the Zanpakuto and make some sort of Zanpakuto Quincy hybrid weapon. I don't know. So again, this is just me using pure speculation because I can promise you that Ichigo will have some form of Quincy fighting techniques, meaning arrows or something. He won't just have the blue vein. It'll, it'll probably be more. So what I'm thinking it's going to get encompassed in somewhere in that Zanpakuto. And uh, also, if that pit that they're in is for broken or destroyed Zanpakuto, he may very well run into Zangetsu again. Again, we haven't seen Zangetsu since the final Getsu Goten show. Even when Ichigo got his abilities back, we've never actually seen Zangetsu come back into the picture or any of that. So this, is, this could actually be really huge to find out what's in that pit. We know it's Zanpakuto. We just don't know what kind of Zanpakuto it is. So again, like I said, this, the chapter itself is pretty solid. I really enjoyed it and I understand where it's going to be going. And again, like I said, we got a two week break. So it's going to be a while before we find out exactly what's going to happen in that pit. Um, now, one other thing that could happen is it could just be random Zanpaktos too. And again, this is just me just going way out in right field. But, uh, Kenpachi Zanpakuto could possibly be there too. Because again, he doesn't know the name of his Zanpakuto. So, you know, maybe this is a wayward place where Zanpaktos go until they're awakened and maybe uh, Kenpachi Zanpakuto is there as well. Again, like I said, I just threw that out there. You guys let me know what you think. Um, this, is, this is at that point, you know, comment in the section below. Let me think, let me know what you thought about the chapter. Uh, definitely thumbs up the video if you could and definitely subscribe to my videos. Uh, this is Shonoff the King, the one and only, and you guys have a fantastic day.